Um, hey everyone, and to all of my Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, and to all of my totally awesome Walking Dudes and Dudettes, it's your girl Claire again, back with another video for my channel for your entertainment and viewing pleasure. I hope that you are all doing well and keeping safe and all of that good stuff. So, yeah. Hopefully those in England are calling for the reintroduction of COVID restrictions to avoid a winter crisis. December, the government could bring in the following measures in England if it was necessary to protect the NHS. Commun communicating clearly and urgently to the public that the level of risk has increased. Introducing mandatory COVID passports, making face covering compulsory again, asking, advising people to work from home. The government has consistently said there are no plans for another lockdown in England. BS, I mean. Come on. How many lockdowns you've had? Yeah. Privatization. Plan C, which could ban mixing between households. Plan A is the winter strategy currently in operation in England, offering COVID data jabs for about 30 million people, offering healthy 12 to 15 year olds a, sick, a single vaccine dose, encouraging unvaccinated people to get jabbed, NHS test and trace continues, and PCR lateral flow test remains free, encouraging free flu jab take up, reminding people to let in fresh air, when meeting indoors to wash their hands and to wear face coverings in private places, one metre plus social distancing guidance remains in place, face coverings no longer required by law, but the government expects and recommends them in crowded and closed spaces. Some shops and transport operators still require masks. People who have been working from home during the pandemic should return to the workplace gradually. Full up alert levels, including levels for lockdowns, should be reintroduced. Also announced care home and citizen all should be relaxed. Work from home whenever possible. Face covering compulsory in public transport and in shops and hospitals, but not bars and restaurants. College and secondary school staff and students should keep testing regularly. Face masks no longer required for schools, but still recommend them recommended in crowded space by school buses. And it says COVID pass needed for entry into nightclubs as well as many indoor and outdoor events. Continuing legal requirements for face coverings. Public settings. A return to mandatory social distancing, strengthened arrangements for self-isolation, the introduction of COVID passports in higher risk settings. <coughs> Up to 30 people from any number of households can mix indoors. Four people from no more than two households can visit care homes, face coverings from poultry in shops, indoor seated venues and visitor attractions. Indoor seated venues strongly recommended but not legally obligated obliged to ask for proof of double vaccination or a negative lateral flow test. <coughs> Dancing not permitted at indoor venues, apart from weddings and civil ceremonies. Face coverings mandatory in public transport, unless you're exempt. Work from home where possible. Social distancing in hospitality settings and nightclubs remain closed until 31st of October. Physical distancing rules remain in place in healthcare settings. Face coverings still compulsory on public transport and in shops. Keep working from home where possible. All school staff and secondary pupils wear face coverings in stores. No large in person lectures at colleges and universities. And all over 18 is required to prove their vaccine status on nightclubs and other venues. So, Hope you all had a <coughs> reasonable day. I did, I just chilled out really. <coughs> Nothing really exciting. Really? Um, yeah. 
I've been talking to Danny, my guy, my guy Danny, hi, if you're watching. Um, I saw a comment that you wrote on my link to my previous video that I did the other day, my recent one, where I was talking about I, me leaving my college and new course for good. Because, you know, I do tend to share links to my new videos that I make on YouTube as and when. But yeah, I saw a comment that you left on there. Yeah, and he was like talking about how leaving was probably not the easiest decision, but at least I seem to be returning to my normal self. And yeah, there are other bleh, how there are other other opportunities out there, and that I am on then now. Since leaving that place, I seem to be much better, and yeah, I am in a better position, in a better place than where I was before. Even my mum, even my own mum, because you know, you know, Tuesday morning that day when I talked to her about it, you know, she was like, "Oh, at least you gave it a try, and at least you can be a YouTuber." And I was like, "Yeah, cool." So. Um, yeah, so that was nice. And it's just like, so crazy. I mean, like, the one I was on before, yeah, at least that one was like, I knew, like, what time I was going to start. It was always at 10am. I mean, like, it seems really pointless just to have to be there at 9, only to be, like, kept raging around until, like, 1. On Wednesdays, I was just like, oh my god, that's a bit overkill. But... You know, it does seem a bit ridiculous, but, yeah, whatever. And, coupled with the fact that when we go home, we have to do, like, homework. So what, are we, like, back at school now? Because, like, you know, we've already been at there for, like, a couple of hours, and you expect us to, like, do homework, Blah. I want to, like, chill out, not do homework, but, you know. So, yeah, you know, like Danny said, you know, some things are not for everyone, but there are better opportunities out there. I mean, I can always go into acting, like, later on. I mean, look at the guy who played Pat Phelan in, what was it, Coronation Street? He was a decorator before that, and the guy who played the uncle in... Only Fools and Horses. He worked at a bank for 40 years up to that point. None of them had previous acting experience, and now look at them. They both went into acting, and they've become somewhat household names, so... Who's to say that won't happen to me? I mean, I could always go into acting like further down the road. Yeah, I can't believe it's been... can't believe it's like... You know, less than 24 hours, like, or whenever. This video is uploaded, it'll be like our so on Saturday, this Saturday, or if you like it. So, at least I have that to look forward to, and I don't believe in revising, it's like, oh my days, what am I going to do now? But, yeah, I had to leave college, it was just too much. I mean, like, normally I'd be like, you know, happy, and you know, I had a good day. I mean, after I've had my rest, because, you know, once I come home from college, I do tend to sleep. You know, I'm usually like happy and you know, laughing, but since that, since I joined um, that call, the level 3 performing arts, God, I've become like a different person. I'm like, stressed, anxious, depressed, and my mental health really took a hit. I mean, it was already bad, but it definitely took a hit, or I haven't been myself. You know, whenever I came home, I was quiet, not happy, just wasn't myself, so I had to leave, so, even my parents sort of noticed that I wasn't really the same, so, yeah, I had to, um, leave because it wasn't right for me, I thought it was the right course for me, but it wasn't, as it turned out, so, yeah, I'm now a former student, or ex-student, I don't know. 
so I obviously have more time to make these videos so yeah expect more videos like this in the future because I've left and I'm starting to become more and more like my old self which is good so <sighs> I'm done for about 10 minutes so I'm glad that I'm becoming more like my old self and I'm on the mend I'm recovering, I'm starting to become like my old self since leaving that hellhole college and level 3 in performing arts um, yeah, so so thank you all so much for watching if you like what you see please feel free to leave a like comment down below, share this video and subscribe and turn on the notification bell this has been your girl Claire, signing out Peace out to all of my Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, and keep on rocking you totally awesome rocking dudes and dudettes, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, bros and sisters. God, that was the worst one, right? Peace out, brothers and sisters, friends. Peace out. <laughs>